Hey everyone, and thanks for joining us. Today, we're going to show you how BioRaft Hazardous Waste Pickup can help you plan out your hazardous waste tasks to get the most out of your day. I'm here with Bill Kalinich, our systems engineer, and he's going to walk you through the ways our system makes your work easier. So Bill, how would you go about uh, planning out your day for hazardous waste work? Uh, thanks, Matt. It's pretty simple. Um, instead of receiving a tons of emails and trying to print out uh, different pieces of paper, organize all those based off the building, uh, try to find out what's coming up next, uh, going out to different locations in my cart. All of the uh, information from the pickup requests are going to be organized to us to an easy view uh, that we can filter and sort uh, to help plan our day. Uh, so we can easily see here uh, how much we can expect to pick up in each location, uh, as well as details about each of these requests easily see here that a lot of our requests are coming through Andrew's hall today. So if I want to organize these requests and plan out what I need to do in Andrew's hall, um, I can easily see that, hey, we're going to be here picking up some piranha solution. I know that's going to be some reactive materials and providing other caps. I can also notice here that we also missed a pickup last time. Uh, we rejected this request uh, for studying azide from the Adams lab. Uh, but since I'm going to this floor as well, um, it's easy for me to understand that I can go back in uh, and maybe have this discussion with them um, and see what was picked up, uh, why it was rejected, um, and, and what we need to do last time. Now, that's great to be able to see. Instead of getting to spend all of your time trying to actually just congregate and organize your data, you just have it there for you to use to then say, okay, wait a second, I'm going to be in this building. Maybe I can just make it a couple other things, know what I need ahead of time, show up and get it all done in one shot instead of needing to make trips back and forth and back and forth all the time because uh, you keep learning all of a sudden that uh, <laughs> the, the things you need are not actually with you at the time. Exactly. And we might have missed these things or forgot about them in the past, right? If I just was printing out emails over and over again every day, walking out to those buildings, I don't have this information in real time. I'm going to be constantly reactive to the information I get on a daily basis. Uh, but I might miss those things or hope that they make that request again, and it just falls back into my queue, not knowing that it might be coming out of compliance or anything like that that could be causing other problems later on. So as I organize the information, I can even pull this up on my phone, check to see if anything else has come into this building in real time. Uh, so I don't have to walk all the way back to my desk, get my drop everything off, uh, print out a bunch of other emails, and then go back to this building or maybe hope I get it tomorrow. Uh, so it allows me to be constantly uh, informed uh, to make those decisions. Uh, we can also see that we have other requests from the Bouchard facility today um, and that we're going to be in and picking up quite a few things um, throughout the building. I can see which floors are on and dive into those uh, buildings and spaces to see what they're working with. I can also see the Barth lab here um, is actually asking for two more secondary containment bins. Uh, so this might be a good conversation to have with them at a different time. Are they picking up their research? Are they going to be uh, adding more uh, waste to what they're currently working with? Uh, what types of waste are they going to be producing? Are they going to be one of our groups that are going to be uh, part of this highly toxic, um, costing us a little bit more money? Uh, are they going to be a group that we should train a little bit differently on how to get rid of their empty bottles? It allows us to identify these types of uh, characteristics and information. Uh, so instead of organizing my time uh, to print out emails, stack them up, to uh, send out and, and walk around, I can actually look at the data, um, pull that in um, in one view, um, and make some assumptions to help out with the program uh, from a proactive manner. You know, it's kind of amazing, you know, what you can do once you have data coming in that's really standardized and regular that you also don't need to necessarily do any work to collect that it comes in from the actual users going in for you. So. You can uh, explore that a little bit more if you want to check out our other video right below. You can see how scientists can submit hazardous waste pickup requests and how easy that is for them to get that information into your hands to use. 